Hello class, I'm Jacob Molla, and today, for our research project for Earth Science, we are going to discuss uh, what it means to be caught in a thunderstorm, or tornado, and a hurricane. Let's get to watching. First, let's talk about thunderstorms. The basic ingredients used to make a thunderstorm are moisture, unstable air, and lift. You need moisture to form clouds and rain. You need unstable air that is relatively warm and can rise rapidly. Finally, you need lift. This can form from fronts, sea breezes, or even mountains. Now, as a highly intellectual individual as myself, I must come to advise you the dangers of thunderstorms, like lightning, high winds, and flash floods. Hey, they're working! My feet are soaked, but my cups are bone dry! Everything's coming up Millhouse! Now, in order to prepare yourself, uh, you could remove dead trees that could fall in your house, uh, unplug any appliances or electrical equipment, or move inside your house so garbage or anything else could be used as flying debris on your property. That reminds me, here's Kelly with an eyewitness report. My antenna, I had to pull over. I don't, want, I don't know. I would avoid this road if you can. Now, just remember, just in case you're caught in a thunderstorm, find a low place, such as a ravine or valley. You can also stay away from anything made of metal. And if you're in a forested area at the time of the thunderstorm, find shelter in an area of preferably small trees. Alright, now let's talk about hurricanes, but first, let's transition with some dubstep. The birth of a hurricane requires at least three conditions. First, the ocean waters must be warm enough at the surface to put enough heat and moisture into the overlaying atmosphere to provide the potential fuel for the thermodynamic engine that a hurricane becomes. Second, atmospheric moisture from seawater evaporation must combine with that heat and energy to form the powerful engine needed to propel a hurricane. Third, a wind pattern must be near the ocean surface to spiral air inward. Bands of thunderstorms form, allowing the air to warm further and rise higher into the atmosphere. If the wind at these high levels are relatively light, this structure can remain intact and grow stronger, which will lead to the beginning of a hurricane. The primary hazards to a hurricane are actually very similar to the thunderstorm, which include high winds, a heavy amount of rain, and the storm surges that you're watching right now. In order to prepare for a hurricane, it'd be best to fill automobile fuel tanks uh, and get any spare gas cans, secure any wind-prone objects, and of course, monitor any broadcasts and be ready to evacuate. This is Frank McDonald, my own TV station, live in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Heavy rain is heading for Nova Scotia on Tuesday, April the 8th, 2014. It's going to bring up to 30 plus millimeters of rain in Nova Scotia, especially in Halifax and Sydney, Nova Scotia as well. If you're trapped in a hurricane, make sure to stay away from windows and glass doors, and close all interior doors. Most importantly though, you want to lie under a table or other sturdy objects, like my good friend TC from the film Grave Encounters right here is doing. If you tell anybody about our little secret, I'll kill your dog. Bonfire. In order for a tornado to form, you need warm, moist air, and also cool, dry air. When these two air masses meet, they create instability in the atmosphere. A change in wind direction and an increase in wind speed with increasing height creates an invisible, horizontal spinning effect in the lower atmosphere. Rising air within the updraft tilts the rotating air from horizontal to vertical. An area of rotation 2-6 to six miles wide now extends through much of the storm. Most strong and violent tornadoes form within this area of strong rotation. The dangers of tornadoes include flying objects, strong winds like the thunderstorm. However, unlike the thunderstorm, tornadoes typically include large hailstorms. 
Man, them jokers was big, size of a quarter dog on. Many said it sounded like nothing they've ever heard before. He said, Kapuya, Kapuya. And your boy that hell just came in. I looked at my, opened my door and I looked out my door and started hitting me in my head. I took out running, and ran to my restroom and then I called my mama to see what she all right. In order to prepare for an earthquake, it'd be best to leave immediately, get to a safe room, and pack provisions like this random kid I found on the internet. Hi, my name is Max with How to Do It Right. And as you can probably see, there's a storm coming. Joy Cube, this is important because it's only available in Korea. I want to put that in my bag. My stack mat timer, well, because it was $50. And because I like cubing, so. You can also stay away from windows in terms of preparedness. However, if you are caught in the storm, it's best to roll up the windows if you're in a car or get to a low building. So just uh, make us appreciate what we have. Roll them up. Lastly, it would be best if you're in a car caught during the tornado, go away from the tornado at a 90 degree angle for your best chance of outrunning it. Well, that concludes this video, so thank you for watching it. And I hope you enjoyed the product. By the way, I'd like to give big thanks to JBJ for helping me research this topic, as well as Nathan Yamrick. And I'd also like to thank you, Nick Muller. You did the most by giving us the hope that we desperately need.